I suspect that it has taken a back seat, home ownership, to other priorities like working through this recession, and, uh, and justifiably so. But I hope that the long-term effect of this recession is not to blame it all on the drive for home ownership so that we de-emphasize the importance of home ownership as a vehicle toward moving people toward the middle class. For most Americans, the sum total of their net worth economically is the equity that they have in their home. To the degree that we de-emphasize that, we begin to dismantle one of the principal ladders or instruments for moving people to the middle class. Several studies have been done that describe the uh, the factors that created the robust, the strong American middle class in the post-World War II years. And they were access to higher education, a good system of minimum wage and worker protections, and home ownership. It would be a tragedy if the result of this recession is to mislabel the causes of the crisis and dismantle home ownership in the process. Well, I'm very uh, pleased that this administration is the first to have recognized in an overt way the significant role of metropolitan areas as engines of the larger national economy. So that they are now recognizing that in order for the country to be strong, to invest rationally in the right kind of infrastructure for the future, it will require a metropolitan focus. They've created a White House office of urban affairs, headed by the former president of the Bronx in New York, very capable man, uh, Adolfo Carrion is his name. And they, uh, I think, uh, are, are attempting to coordinate and uh, f uh, multiply the, 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 the capacities of the departments of housing and urban development, transportation, labor, education, environmental protection in a strategy of urban focus. I think that uh, if the U.S. government had been more aware of its regulatory responsibilities and willing to use them, unfortunately in a period when the Bush administration emphasized deregulation and hands off the private sector, uh, we would have been able to avoid the worst excesses of that period. Uh, what we lived with and what we saw was predatory practices in the mortgage industry uh, uh, abusive practices matched to Wall Street's creation of new instruments to take the mortgages and move them into the global markets. Uh, we saw rating agencies that gave AAA ratings to, to toxic paper. We saw regulatory bodies that were not doing their job of safeguarding and overlooking. Uh, we saw uh, a, a, a government that kept interest rates very low for a long period of time, so there was capital out there for these practices. Um, unfortunately, uh, it, I think it was possible to anticipate, but it would have taken a fundamentally different approach to regulatory responsibilities. I think it's a very important, home ownership is a very important part of the American story and the American future. Uh, it is one of the established mechanisms by which we build a strong middle class, which most acknowledge is the backbone of American prosperity. Now, it is probably true that the quest for home ownership pushed too hard and people uh, came to home ownership in the uh, early years of this century who did so only because the instruments that were available to them were uh, dangerous and fragile. Uh, and we have to be much more careful and our housing strategies have to be much more balanced between uh, for sale and rental. Um, uh, but uh, clearly at the end of this crisis, uh, America must find a way to uh, return to uh, an aggressive, 
and responsible home ownership strategy. Uh, otherwise, we risk leaving a lot of people out of the world of economic opportunity who deserve a chance at the American dream.